Hello and welcome to another review video. The model on the table today is the Minichamps Resin Scale 118 Toro Rosso Renault STR10 from the 2015 Formula 1 season as driven by young Dutch debutant Max Verstappen. Max's story is well known. Born to a Belgian mother, Sophie Kumpen, a former karting ace, and Dutch former Formula 1 driver, Jos Verstappen, Max quite literally has racing in his blood. He quickly rose through the motorsport ranks and made his car racing debut in 2014 after dominating the karting scene. He first attended the Florida Winter Series as a warm-up to his participation in the European Formula 3 Championship. In Formula 3, Max was a contender from the off. He won 10 races that season, more than anyone else, and finished third in the standings behind Tom Blomqvist and eventual champion Esteban Ocon. Meanwhile, he joined the Red Bull Junior team, which promised him a quick promotion to Formula 1. This was necessary to fight off interest from rival teams like Mercedes. Verstappen made his official Formula 1 weekend debut later that year, in the Friday free practice session of the Japanese Grand Prix, driving for Red Bull's sister junior team, Toro Rosso. He was only 17 years and 3 days old at the time. And by then he was already given a full-time race contract for 2015. Max Verstappen thus made his Formula 1 debut at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix at the age of 17 years and 166 days. This is a record that will probably never be broken since the FIA has changed the minimum age to 18 years now. Mechanical failure prevented him from scoring points on his debut. He did score his first points just a fortnight later in Malaysia, becoming the youngest point scorer in history. After a full season in 2015 and a handful of races in 2016 with Toro Rosso, Max was promoted to the senior Red Bull Racing team at the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, a race which he immediately won. In doing so, he became the youngest ever Formula 1 race winner as well. I did a review of the model of that event too, I'll leave a link down below and at the end of this video. So the model car is a mini chance made resin scale 118th car from the Verstappen online fan shop. It was their first 118th release and comes with this uh, special custom packaging with Max's old logos on it. And uh, let's have a look at the box first. On the top of the box you have a picture of the top of Max's helmet, 2015 helmet, with the newer style number 33 on it. You'll see on the model car, on the helmet, it's a different font. On the sides of the box then you have, uh, then again, Max's old logo and all the model's info, like uh, the limited edition number. And uh, on the bottom you have all the licensing info as usual and the proof that it's a resin model. The model itself then comes on this uh, typical base Minichamps always uses. The only difference is the plaque of the model, where here it's just uh, printed and there's just a small chrome plaque here denoting which uh, number of limited edition you have. From an overall standpoint, I think the model is quite good. It's one of the first Formula 1 resin scale 118th models by Minichamps. And uh, these resin models usually are slightly more refined than the die-cast ones. And this one is no exception to that. Proportion-wise, it looks really good, I think. The superficial details are easily noticeable. So, um, yeah, good first impressions, I'd say. The cockpit then is uh, quite good. The helmet looks nice with the correct array shape. It's also clearly his uh, debut helmet as seen from the font used on his chosen number 33 on the top of the helmet. And as I mentioned on the box, you'll see the more modern type he used later on. So this model is most likely based on the Australian Grand Prix debut race when he still had that older uh, font number on the top of his helmet. The rest of the figurine is uh, not too bad. As you can see, the seat belts are uh, plastic, but they look quite okay, especially with these uh, photo etched uh, buckle parts. The steering wheel then is uh, nicely replicated too. It has some uh, textures on it and uh, it has the correct red handles. I did add some more details to the edge of the bulkhead there. 
Uh, it looked a bit too plain to my liking, so I tried to pretty it up a bit. I colored the steering column too in the correct silver aluminium color. So yeah, cockpit detail is not bad at all. Could be slightly better with these uh, small improvements I did myself, but yeah, not bad at all. On to the interesting bit and the smaller details then. The front wing has this uh, nice carbon texture on it, on this middle part. All the cascades are uh, nicely shaped, there are no cutouts though. And these metal colored slot gap separators, they look really great. The extra winglet has a little sensor on it and they look really beautiful. The end plates are uh, nicely shaped too with these uh, beautiful uh, vortex tunnels underneath. Onto the nose then and the little tip of it has a little grill in it which is just a decal but it actually looks uh, quite good. The nose also has this uh, beautiful golden color on it. Underneath the nose and the top then you have these uh, turning veins. There are no cutouts in them though, but uh, they still look nice. The suspension then has a carbon fiber texture in the plastic. The pickup points are in this metal color which gives it a bit more depth and then these small antennas are really fine as well. The big brake ducts then, they look good, they're really uh, nicely detailed I think. And uh, moving on to the wheels then, yeah, they look really nice with that uh, extra ring in the rim at the front. The central locking wheel nut has uh, different colors on both sides and they look really detailed as well. And uh, I added some extra markings to the sidewalls of the tires, the red D's and S markings standing for Destra and Sinistra or right and left in Italian were already on it as standard, I just added the other markings and the uh, barcodes uh, to them and some more um, detail points as you can see the rears they look uh, equally detailed as the fronts of course the side pod area then is very simple with a small barge board and then this long turning vein next to it next to the side pod and then you have two small uh, turning veins on the top of it the airbox intake features this uh, split configuration. The hole however is not deep enough, same can be said from the side pods. Um, it's a bit of a shame they made it so shallow. The floor then has a nice carbon fiber weave in the plastic. You can even spot small differences in some areas. You can see the floor is also uh, nicely shaped and some more details at the back as well. The big red bull on the uh, engine cover is nicely done too. I like the old style uh, Toro Rosso livery with the uh, Jos Pierkner Red Bull drawing. The rear suspension then has this typical Red Bull style metal rod sticking out. The suspension arms are beautifully uh, sculpted as well. Also very noticeable is the coke bottle of, um, of the car, especially uh, seen from the top. You can uh, see how uh, tightly packaged and how slim it actually is. The rear wing then and uh, the upper flaps are joined in one piece, so no two separate pieces. And the DRS is connected to the main plane. The gills in the end plates are not all cut out. The top ones only have the reverse gills on the insides to make it look like it's cut. I uh, do really like this small rivet detailing on the end plate here. Then the bigger almost vertical uh, gills are cut out though which uh, looks really nice. And on the bottom of the end plates there are these uh, smaller gills which are also cut out. Then there are more stripes here on the end plates and these are not gills but vortex generators. The inside of the end plates then have a, has this nice uh, carbon texture on it. 
and uh, the diffuser is very simple again there's some carbon texturing in the plastic but a very simple arrangement the crash structure then has this rear light in it the exhaust of the car sticks out on the top of it with a little monkey seat hanging over it and it's uh, actually attached to the DRS stem and uh, yeah, looks really uh, really nice to conclude I'd say it's a pretty nice looking model car from Minichamps they got uh, the shape, the color, the details just right in my opinion and it's a model I really enjoy looking at and of course it's already a part of Formula 1 history being Max Verstappen's debut Formula 1 car so this was my review of the Max Verstappen Resin Scale 118 Mini Champs Toro Rosso STR10. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, leave a like down below. Check out the other videos on the channel. And why not subscribe to it whilst you're at it. And then hopefully I'll see you in the next one.